What's up Nitro gang? This is a brand new Serpent 1/8 scale Nitro buggy. And today we're going to unbox it. We're going to put in its first drop of fuel. And by drop of fuel I mean many hundreds of thousands of drops equal to about exactly what you need for a proper break-in guys. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order. The Serpent brand started making history in 1980 with 1/8 scale Nitro on-road racing. I like the words Nitro, on-road, and racing all together. And this is the culmination of 40 plus years of racing technology. They were able to bring us a ready-to-run, user-friendly Nitro buggy. You could pick this up right now on the A-Main, free shipping and the shipping is quite fast. Parts are in stock and available. Take a look at all of these parts. I want you guys to know, before I recommend any Nitro for you to buy, I make sure that you can get the parts. This particular Serpent belongs to my good friend Dan over here. Major congratulations to you, bro. Thank you, thank you. You're going to experience some sickening Nitro racing heritage. Let's open it up, take a look at the chassis, do a little overview and then get it ready to fire it up. Let's do it. Nice looking box by the way. Hold on. What do we got on the box? We should probably take a look at the box. First thing I notice is the body design. This is called a forward cab. Very good for aerodynamic efficiency. On the top we have, what do we have? High performance gas power buggy. I know the Serpent uses the term gas powered. Really, they should be using nitro, but that's okay. Good looking box. This is called the SRX8. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got some nice features over here on the back. Serpent pull start engine. Big bore 16 millimeter shocks with four millimeter shock towers all around. Dragon RC polished inline tuned pipe. Serpent high quality aluminum shocks and shock towers. I think they repeated themselves just now. Doesn't matter. Servos. We got a nice 15 kilogram servo and a 2.4 gigahertz radio. That's enough about the box. Let's go, Dan. Open her up. First look. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a brand new Nitro unboxing. We got instructions. Gotta tell you. I love this picture of this buggy. I'm looking at the video from the buggy that I had. Looks awesome. Yeah. All right, what do we got? Radio? Got the radio. We'll take a look at the radio in a little bit. And the sickening buggy itself. What is that? Hold on. It says Serpent World Champion. I want you guys to know Serpent is not messing around. They've been involved in Roar and IFMAR in racing since the 1980s. They've dominated and won many championships. So they're not playing around. Let's get it out of the box. Oh yeah. Now that is a proper looking buggy. I really like the logo here on the front of the shock tower. It says Serpent. Still zip tied. Suspension out of the box. I would say probably the best dampening I have ever seen in my life. Big bore aluminum shocks. Let's take a look around the side. Looks like the body has a protective film cover over it. That's why it's a little bit non-glossy. Giant cooling head sticking out of here for proper cooling, nice. Check out the rear suspension as it is out of the box. Really nice. I would say it's a little bit uh, better dampening than the front. I really like the choice of shock oil Serpent used. All right, bro, we got to get some wire cutters. Get rid of these zip ties over here. Let's do a quick overview of the chassis, the body, the tires, and the basic fit and finish. Two body clips secure the body. Pretty easy removal process but not when you have one hand. So Dan, help me out, please. You want that good aerodynamics, you gotta have a hard to fit body, you know? Kinda how it works. All right, top down view on this bad boy. Looks pretty sickening. I gotta tell you, I like it. 
the only thing you're gonna need is a regular five cell rechargeable receiver battery pack similar to the ones used on the Traxxas Revo not the hump pack but the five cell pack because as you can tell you have a uh, a flat battery box over here from what I can tell you have aluminum exactly where it needs to be the steering links aluminum shock towers nice thick aluminum we have hardened brown drive shafts turnbuckles all around this is no joke guys this is hardened hardware see that air filter logo serpent baby dual springs around the header that is a nice touch a very nice touch now the older generation of this serpent buggy did come with the actual Novorossi engine but after Novorossi went out of business they couldn't use their logo anymore but I am pretty much 99 and a half percent confident more positive than many people's COVID outcomes that this in fact is still the same exact Novorossi engine we have standard 17 millimeter hubs the wheels are nice and grippy soft rubber compound aluminum hinge pin holder in the front we have sway bars all around bottom of the chassis nice flat aluminum pan just like you would expect on any nitro buggy typical type of stuff really nice fit and finish i gotta say the rear dampening on this they used extremely nice shock oil very good for runs it's not going to be bouncy or anything now the instruction manual i did take a look at it and there really is no information on the proper break-in so we're going to do a nitro gang break-in which is just heat cycles but i will tell you there is a good amount of information here if you want to learn how to tune everything there's springs there's shock angles information about the oil viscosity differentials everything you want to know exploded parts views interesting type of stuff let's check out the radio and we'll power on the car okay stock steering servo i would say is fast more than fast enough you're not gonna have a problem with a stock steering servo throttle brake works perfect a very nice 90 degree linkage over here for very good brake actuation and opening and closing of the slide carburetor well that's my overview it's time to do the first tank heat cycle what do we have 30 percent vp fuel over here yes sir only the best for the serpent let's prime it we're gonna plug the exhaust oh yeah i see fuel moving right over here that's what you want to see the compression is crazy right dan yeah. pressure is sick oh yeah but the prime job is terrific this new movie coming out prime job starring tom cruise all right man i think it's about time to uh fire it up let me do a little throttle control here on the radio i have it set a little bit um beyond idle but we'll see we'll uh we'll see what we got oh wow that was... all right we gotta give it a little juice down that was about a uh, a heat cycle about half a tank 
We're gonna let it cool now. Top of the cooling head isn't too hot. Seems good, the pipe also, normal temperature, I can touch it. When you do have it properly broken in, this motor is gonna be killing all the electrics on that RC track in no time, guys. I'm gonna let it cool down a couple minutes here and we'll fire it up again. Serpent has cooled down. Let's do a second heat cycle. Let's fire it up. I'm on radio control duty. We did about eight heat cycles on the Serpent. It's time to get it on the track. All right, Dan, let's go. Oh, we got Arch Nemesis over there. T-Max. So track taking that turn like the serpent pro racing champion that it is we're not going crazy fast because you know kind of like 50 percent throttle run over here maybe even less running nice the t-max wants some it looks like oh oh be careful that t-max trying to take you out bro Serpent's running good, right? Throttle response, steering, cornering ability, the brakes, world class. The handling's great, right? I can tell the tires are nice and grippy. The T-Max flip, but the Serpent Buggy keeps on rolling. That's what you call proper center of gravity, racing technology, guys. Nice, predictable lap. You're gonna have a good time. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order. <laughs> 